Hey guys, it's David, and in this video I'll be teaching you how to set up SFML library in Xcode. So first of all, go to sfml.org, go to the download, latest stable version, and download for Mac OS. Save this to your desktop. Untar the file. You can delete the tar file. Now open up a new finder window. Go to view, show path bar, so we can see this thing down here. And now we're going to move the framework contents into our frameworks folder on the library. So from SFML, what we just downloaded, go to frameworks copy all this and then just paste it right in there next open up another finder window go to Macintosh HD and press command shift followed by period this will show the hidden folders and files Go to the user, go to local, go to lib. Now copy these lib contents into this lib folder. Now go to include. Now you're going to want to copy this SFML folder. Copy this and put, paste it into local include. As you can see, I already have these folders here. I'm just showing it for, for reference. <clears throat> now take, take these extended lib files, uh, take the extended libs and paste it back into the framework, the first one that we had open. Now this step is optional but I highly recommend it. Go to Xcode, show package contents, go into contents, developer, library, frameworks, nope, Xcode, templates, project templates. Now copy the templates folder into this project templates. This will let you create new projects with a default template. Then go to File, New Project in Xcode. Go to Mac OS and go to SFMO app. You can name this whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Save it to your desktop. Now, in the beginning, it's not going to run because you have to check a box in the builder settings. So I'll show you how it's not going to run first. Build failed. And you get this error message. To fix this error message, you have to go into your overall app view. So go to this little folder. Now click on this app. app go to build phases run script and then check run script only when installing and this should fix the problem that's it thank you for watching and be sure to be subscribed I'll be posting more videos about programming